Yo, what's up guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you everything about the new 3.1 um, Wolf of the Atlas mechanics. So basically I'm going to go over how to get shape absorbs, um, how the Elder and Shaper influence works and how to spawn it on your map, and then how to abuse it later on to try and get the maximum amount of drops, whether you're boss killing or speed mapping. So just to start off, um, your Atlas isn't going to look like this when you get to the, um, the end game. It's going to look like um, just Shaper. So to begin with, you're going to have three to five blobs of shaper influence on your atlas somewhere and your first goal should be to push the shaper to a tier 6 map and to do this all you have to do is complete shaper influenced maps on the atlas and that will push him out of that area and he'll randomly choose a new map to occupy and once he occupies a tier 6 you want to do that tier 6 and then when you get to the end boss and kill it the Elder will come in and gobble up the boss and dunk Shaper on the head and you'll have Elder influence on your map. So there's a very specific way that the Elder and Shaper influences work together. So if you have a look on my atlas, you'll notice the Elder has a large chunk and then the Shaper is trying to surround him. That is always how they will operate. So if you have a long line, let's say down here of Elder influence, the Shaper will try and surround him at all times. So it's going to be Elder on the middle and then Shaper on the outside. So, how do I get my shape absorbs? So, it's very important that um, I first explain how to spread the Elder Influence and knock it back. So, to spread the Elder Influence, I'm, I apologize for all these sextants on here, I was blocking out at all. Um, you'll just, hopefully, you can still see. Um, so, to spread the um, Elder Influence, it's very, very easy and simple. So, we have a map here, Tier 8, Mineral Pools. So, to get the Elder Influence to spread to a Moon Temple map, you can see these two maps are connected by this line. This is very important to notice. So when maps are connected, you can directly influence the war between the Elder and the Shaper. So to get them to spread, all I have to do is complete the Moon Temple map, and then the Elder will take over the Moon Temple map, and then the Shaper will be forced to try and surround that Elder Influence. So he will either move to te the Temple map, or the Belfry map, or both. So basically, it's a bit of a leapfrog motion every time you want the Elder to spread. Um, at one point, I had the Elder this entire left side of the screen, um, because I was testing it out. Um, I don't think there is any limit set to how much Elder influence you can have on your Atlas, although I've only tested it up to half the Atlas. Uh, it's possible the Shaper might aggressively fight him off when you go bigger than that. Okay, so now that you understand how the Elder and Shaper influence works, um, I can explain how Shaper's Orbs works. I will quickly just add one thing that I forgot. If I spread the, sh um, the Elder Influence um, far along one line, like this, which isn't connected to another line, so essentially if I spread him over to this one, and then this one, and the Elder Influence came up like this, if I completed Moon Temple, it'll chop him off at like the bottom. Like So basically, um, if he was here and here, and I completed Moon Temple, he would be removed from Belfry. He has to be connected um, in terms of his influence. If you chop off a big part, then all of the other part, which is like not connected to the main body anymore, will be removed. So that's very important to notice um, when you're going for this Shaper Orbs, which I'm about to explain now. So Shaper's Orbs, how do you get them? Um, so be to begin with, you're going to have no Shaper's Orbs. Um, and when you um, spawn the Elder in, you'll do a tier 6 map, and that's when you'll get your first one. So to get the tier 7 through 15, all you have to do is complete a map of that tier. So if you wanted the tier 7 shape rob, you'd need to complete a tier 7 map with Elder Influence on it. And um, the way to do that is to just push the Elder to that map. So if, for example, I wanted this tier 9 shape rob, I would just push the Elder to Moon Temple by completing it with Shaper Influence, which would flop, uh, swap it over to Elder Influence, and then I could then complete it again to get the shape or all. So to begin with, you want to be getting tier uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10 shape orbs. These are very easy to complete um, and because they're very interconnected with each other and uh, the maps are quite cheap. So where it gets really difficult is when you want to be getting to the tier 11 through 15 shape orbs. So just to repeat, all you have to do to get the um, the Elder to move is to find a map that he's on, like this mineral pools, um, and then complete the Shaper influence next to it, and that'll spread it. Very simple. Okay, so let's say I want a tier 11 Shaper orb. 
I'm going to spread it first to Moon Temple by completing the Shaper influence, which will push it over here. And then he'll move over here, the Shaper. And then I'll complete the tier 10 one, which will push Elder up even more. And then 11. And then when you get to 11, here's the catch. So you've pushed Elder to tier 11 by completing Waterways, which had Shaper influence on it. Now it's going to be Elder influence, which will give you the Shape Absorb when you kill the boss. But when you complete an Elder map, Shaper will take it back. So basically the way it works is you will get Waterways Shaper, you'll complete Waterways once, which will flip it over to Elder, and then you'll get another Waterways, you will complete it again to get the um, Shaper Absorb, and then it'll flip back to Shaper. And now you have to flip it back to Elder to continue to push to tier 12. So you complete it again to flip it back to Elder, which will spread it Shaper to Torture Chamber. And then you can do the same process. Complete Torture Chamber with Shaper Influence on it, flip it over to Elder, and then complete Elder to get the um, Shape Absorb, and then it'll swap back over to Shape, and then you'll have to do it again. And this is how I obtained all the Shape Absorbs on the Atlas, all the way up to tier 15. Basically, you need three maps of the tier that you're trying to complete and get the Orb of every time. A very quick point to note for party teams. So let's say I wanted to get a tier 11 Shape Absorb with my party. I've gotten the tier 10 one, but my friend's only gotten the tier 6 one. So if we do this map together, he will get a Shape Absorb, but it'll only be the next one in line. You can't cheat the system. So if he's only got the tier 6 Shape Absorb and you're trying to attempt the tier 11 one, he will just end up getting the tier 7 one. So it's very important to try and um, make sure you're on the same page in terms of what orbs you have. Because if you both invest a lot of currency, which it costs right now to progress, then you will um, have some bad results if you're not uh, on the same page. Because you'll end up doing a tier 11 difficulty map and end up with a lower tier orb if you're not on the same page. Okay, so that about covers how to get your shapers orbs and push the influence around. So why do you want to be doing these maps? So for starters, the Shaper Influence and the Elder Influence add different unique modifiers to the maps they're on. Um, to give you some examples, the Elder Influence can add large amounts of monsters to the map, um, environmental hazards, so basically he can spawn big tentacles which will come out of nowhere and slam the ground, and he'll also spawn portals. Um, these portals will uh, be very large, they have a lot of health, and they spew monsters out of them until you kill them. Um, these portals notably can drop maps and a lot of loot. It almost feels like opening up an abyss trove when you kill them, so they're definitely worth killing. Um, so just straight off the bat, we can notice that the Elder adds a lot of mob density um, about half the time. I think there's about four different mods for the Elder. So it's definitely worth running maps with those Elder mods on them. As for the Shaper, he can also add Shaper-infused mods. Um, he has balls that he can add to the map, which are from the Shaper fight. You can pop them, they're quite annoying. And then the Shaper can also add a random mini-boss um, in the form of a unshaped mob from the Shaper fight as well. And then finally, the Shaper focuses on manipulating the boss most of the time and adding unique mechanics to it, in which when you get it to half health, he'll fully heal it again and give it unique properties. So straight off the bat, we have basically a new type of sextant modifier just by having Shaper or Elder on the map. Um, to continue, the other reason why you want Elder and Shaper on the map is for specific um, Elder and Shaper rares. Basically, these are a new type of um, item base. You can scour them and craft them with chaos, um, and they will have new unique mods on them. Uh, these unique mobs vary in strength, and it is actually quite difficult, as it is with a normal rare, to get a very good one. So the value in these is, instead of like actually identifying a good one, um, you will be finding a good base and then crafting it in your own time. However, this belt is quite good. Um, so yeah, basically, I don't pick up any of them because I get 5 or 6 Elder or Shaper maps. So Shaper items a map. I will only pick up good ones which are like good bases. So some good bases are some like bone helmets, crystal belts, um, Stygian vices, basically any of the atlas um, bases um, or the um, league bases are very good to pick up. But normal ones like chess pieces, weapons and stuff, there's just a lot of them out there and it's probably not worth picking them up unless you want to roll the dice and try to identify a very good rare item. So, now that we know everything about how to influence the map, I'm just going to quickly go over which maps I shaped, 
um, because I know a lot of people have been asking. Um, so I've determined that the best tier 11 map is by far a toll, but it will block you from doing vault. So if you want to do vault, you can't do a toll, but a toll is very strong. You can have two white sections on it. So I think it beats out vault in the end. I then did for my tier 12 dunes. It seems to be the only good tier 12 you can shape. And then tier 13 is Infested Valley, it's very good. And then tier 14, I did Estuary, and finally tier 15 for my Bog. It's right, tier, my tier 15 is Bog. Um, I will quickly go over how the Elder Guardians work. So basically you want to spread your Elder influence, and when it gets to a certain threshold, I think it's about 20 maps, um, the Elder will spawn in with his four Guardians, and you can complete those maps. To my knowledge, they actually do drop Shaper's Orbs, um, as you can see with the quest here, I've got 10 out of 15, and then the other five are from the, sh uh, the Elder Guardians and himself. So yeah, that's basically everything you need to know about the new Elder and Shaper system and how to get your Shaper's Orbs. If I've left anything out, please drop a question in the comments and I'll be able to answer you um, just by typing. Uh, thanks for watching, hopefully you guys learned something. and. Uh, I'll be making a full shaping guide in terms of sex and blocking and everything like that um, in the coming days. Stay tuned for that and enjoy the new expansion.